Sunday, everybody. We're watching my blue partridge Brahma hen Bonnie with her three chicks. Two are barred Plymouth rocks, and of course one is a Brahma. This one right here, I believe it's a cockerel. Um, we have a situation here. This little chick on the left of her, I have a feeling we might have a dwarf situation here. Um, this is a normal size chick. They're three weeks, well, they're four weeks old, actually. He's normal size. The other one, very short legs, curved, short parrot-type beak, um, short, tiny legs. It's feathering out very quickly. It has a head spot of a cockerel, but it feathered out quickly like a pullet. Um, I do think it's a male, but um, I have a feeling it might be a dwarf. Uh, I encountered, there are several kinds of dwarfism in poultry. I encountered that in my Delaware line years ago. Um, and uh, even though normally it takes two dwarf genes, one from each parent, to make a visible dwarf, an actual dwarf, a um, uh, couple of my uh, Delaware rooster's daughters were genetically tested by a vet in Oregon who was actually coincidentally doing a study on dwarfism in poultry and he found one of uh, that rooster's daughters had two dwarf gene copies. Um, he said people uh, beforehand had said that was impossible but he found that she had two copies of it. He said you should never breed her because she would always produce a dwarf. Well, um, this chicks, these chicks, their grandfather uh, his grandfather was a Delaware. Um, they're, you know, one sixteenth Delaware these are, but they're basically pure barred rock. Um, but dwarf genes, genes are kind of like the roulette wheel. Excuse me, I'm going to stand up here. My knees are giving out. Uh, genes are kind of like a, it's like the balls bouncing on a roulette wheel. They go round and round and round, and if two balls fall in the same slot, you get a dwarf. Um, a parent who has a, gene, a dwarf gene won't show it visibly. They're big, strong, healthy. The father of these chicks is big and strong and gorgeous, and uh, you'd never know it if he had a gene. Um, his, he's bred with his half-sisters, um, who are the mothers of these babies. Apparently, if that's a dwarf, one would be a dwarf gene carrier. Um, and, you know, these a parent only passes the gene to 50% of its offspring. So you get a, par a father passing it to 50% and the mother pass passing it to 50%. So some chicks won't have any copies. Some chicks might have one copy from one parent, um, which means they won't look like a dwarf. And if one chick gets two copies, bingo, dwarf. Um, if that is the case, I has kind of upset my apple cart a little bit with that particular line of uh, rocks that I have. It's not that that's a big problem, you know. If, it's just that, you know, they don't live long. They they die suddenly. I mean, suddenly and terribly, honestly. They don't have long lives. Um, but anyway, I don't know if this is a dwarf or not. It may just be a very small, stunted child. Uh, but we're going to have to see. But you see the difference in those two chicks. They're both four weeks old. And that one is tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny legs, short legs. It looks like it's half the, the age of the other one. But we shall see. Uh, anyway, they're having a great time out here. It's warm today. And, um, I don't know. Life's what happens when you're making other plans. You just never know what's gonna, what things are going to be thrown at you in the chicken world. Genetics. Chicken genetics. Those genes are like little gremlins playing tricks on you. Anyway, uh, you guys have a nice week, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>